What's up, YouTube? So I know I always talk about code, talk about it with interviews with my coworkers and my boss in my last video, if you didn't see that one. But today we're gonna do some actual like interview test prep JavaScript, like pretty common interview questions. Today, this one specifically is going to be a palindrome. What is a palindrome? Well, let me show you. I'm left-handed. It's gonna cover the letter, the struggle of my life. Hold on. It's a word that is spelled the same forward and backwards. So mom, dad, race car, same forward and backwards. And a company might be like, hey, we have this string. We have a string here and we need you to check it if it's a palindrome. Oh, you're gonna have to forgive the audio quality of this video, by the way. I have this microphone that I normally use and if you don't turn it off when you're finished using it, it will continue to stay on and drain the battery. It has taken me three 9 volt batteries to learn that lesson and I don't have any more. Let's jump into the code. All right, so we're in the code. I'm using Adam Text Editor. What's up, K Tizzle? I'm using Adam Text Editor. This is my personal favorite I like to use for these little toy problems, interview problems, whatever you want to call them. You can like add packages, AKA mods, and you can like mod it out. And I add this little combo thing, so like I'm typing and the number goes up. Anyways, it's pretty cool. If you want it, go ahead and whip out the Google Adam Text Editor, pop that in, adam.io. If you can type a URL, if you're capable of that, you can download Windows or you can download Mac. It will pop up depending on what OS that you're on. Otherwise, go ahead and right click, go to inspect. It's gonna pop up with a little console down here. Go to the console tab, mine pops up out here because that's, if you want to do this, you click on the three dots that will be over there and then click on this little three windows and it will unpop. We're gonna be using the Google Chrome console to compile all of our JavaScript and actually run this palindrome. I'm not using ECMAScript 6 because I don't want to install NPM or run Babel and all that stuff and I just want to use plain old vanilla JavaScript to solve this. So we're using Google Chrome or Firefox console, or hopefully you're not using Internet Explorer console. Let's go ahead and get started here. If you're a cheater, go ahead and pause that video and copy and paste this or hit my GitHub down below and copy and paste it. Change these values for whatever you need so that you can get that job. Good luck to you, ma'am or sir. Otherwise, I'm just going to type it again and explain it as I go. So the first thing we need is a function, and we're going to give it a name, palindrome checker. It's going to take a string here. Go ahead and finish that syntax out. We're going to be using recursion. Recursion is basically a loop, but it's a function instead. So if you type out a for loop, you know, for i equals 0, if i is less than 10, Go ahead and increment up, and then it will stop when until it gets to nine. It will stop, right? So that's how a for loop works. But recursion in a function works the same way, except once the function meets a certain condition, it stops. So let's go ahead and set that condition. That condition will be if the last character, so string dot length, if string dot length, not the last character, if the string is empty, right? And then finish that syntax out. Whatever, what I mean by string empty, you have a string, right? Double quotes with nothing in it, it's, it's empty. Something in it, it's empty. And we're gonna return true. That's gonna be the stopping condition. If it's empty, we're gonna return true. So let's go ahead and talk about how we're gonna solve this first and the best way to do it. I know that you can use regex, but I am not a wizard and I don't possess magical powers, so there's not gonna be any regular expressions involved in this. So the best way otherwise is if you have a string here, let's use my name, Josh, which is not a good example because that's not a palindrome. So let's use race car. So how we're gonna do it is we're gonna, we're, gonna, we're gonna check the first letter of the string and the last letter of the string, and if they match, good. We're gonna continue and we're gonna, we're gonna slice them off and we're gonna check the first one and the last one, and if those match, we're gonna slice them off, and the first one, and the last one, and we're gonna slice them, slice them off, and then you have one letter left, which is the first and the last one, which is still true, and then the string will be empty, and this condition will be true, and it will say true, yes, it is a palindrome. That's how we're gonna solve this. Let's go ahead and set our second condition here. We need to make sure to check if it's not a palindrome, so that's what we're gonna do now. So let's check if the first index of the string, right? That's that's what this is. You'd think it'd be one, but that's not 
not how programming works. You have to type zero. It's a zero index. It starts at zero. So if you have Josh, J is zero, O is one, S is two, H is three. That's that's how it works. So if the first one is not equal to the last one, so string. String dot length minus one. That's what string dot length minus one will give you the last thing of a string, or an object, or whatever it is you're using. So, if you have uh, my name, we have the string here, and then you want dot length minus one. Well, that will give you the h. Go ahead and finish out that syntax. We're going to return false, uh, not in caps. Return that false. Otherwise, we're going to slice off just like I was explaining before. So let's uh, return the function, you know, loop again, basically. String.slice. We're going to be slicing off the first thing and the last thing. So I know it's weird. Up here, you, you want to slice, you know, you want the first thing in the string, you type 0, but you want to slice off the first thing, you put 1. This is an index, slice is a different method, you have to type one, because that's the first thing that you want. I know it's confusing, I'm sorry, that's how JavaScript is. And so, let's go ahead and give some examples now. Minus one. So let's console.log the function. So we want to see what it returns. And then let's give it a string, because up here, it says it wants a string. Let's use race car. So you know that is a palindrome and that will return true and then let's use one uh, that is false so my name great so go ahead and copy this highlight it copy it whip open that little console wherever you have it it might be might be here it might it might be here underneath and then just go back to your console and paste that in and you should get one true and one false. So let's go block by block, step by step, and explain how this works. So we have race car here. So is the length of race car equal to zero, as in there's it's empty and there's nothing in it? No. So it, it, it skips this, goes down here to the next block. So is the first letter not equal to the last letter? Well, no, they're the same. So it skips this, and then it goes down here to the function and slices off the R and the R, and then it comes back up and does the same check. Is it empty? No. Does A equal to A? Yes, it does, so it skips that. And it does that until it's done. So let's use Josh. So is it empty? No. But is the first letter equal to the last letter? So is J equal to H? No, it's not. So it's going to stop. It's going to return false right here. And then returning false basically cancels out this loop Otherwise, it's just going to keep going until it's true or false. And that's recursion also. So if this helped you and you want to see more videos like this, I make a variety of content on this channel. Go check it out if you want. But if you want to see more videos like this, make sure to hit that little bell and subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions or comments, make sure to leave them in the comments section below. I'll be sure to get to them. If you think I could have done this better, make sure to leave that in the comments too. Go ahead and roast me. And uh, I have a Patreon if you want to check it out. If not, cool, no worries. I'm still going to be making videos every day. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.